any project that um, supports the rainforest and habitat and wildlife, obviously being a wildlife fan. And I think if you are going to do a campaign with somebody as well known and as, as big and respected as Prince Charles, then you're going to reach so many people and I think it's a fantastic campaign. I've been to quite a few rainforests in my career. Um, I've been to the Amazon, which was just incredible. And you get there and you see the bird life and you just can't get over the colours of the birds. They're just beautiful. But more recently I've been to Borneo, Indonesian Borneo, to film Orangutan Diary. I think over the years I've seen a lot of effects of climate change, but the most poignant is in the Antarctic. Um, you know, the icebergs are retreating. And, and for me, the most poignant picture I've seen of that was a photograph that was in the Wildlife Photography of the Year, I think a couple of years ago, which is a polar bear, and he's just perched on one little piece of ice. You can just about fit on it. And you know, that's, that's really sad. And, and you see something like that, and, and you just think, this, this is absolutely tragic. It's got, it's got to change. We've got to do something. I feel tremendously sad when I, when I hear about how much the rainforest is disappearing. But I also feel that you can't go to developing countries and wag your finger as a person from an already developed country and say, you mustn't cut down your rainforest because you're not allowed to develop. Now, who are the people that are, are demanding the products that come from rainforests being cut down? Usually us in, in developed countries, certainly us in Europe and America, we're the ones that are, are asking for wood product, products, paper, and with palm oil in particular, we're the ones that want the cheap products in the supermarkets. I, I think I've got, I'm in a very good position to be able to say something. Uh, I'm constantly pitching programme ideas of, about more hard-hitting conservation issues. They're not always that easy to, to get on television, but, but I feel very passionately about them. I think we play a really important role for the next generation. And myself in particular, because I do television programmes, and, and I have for many years done, done wildlife programmes and environmental programmes for children. And in fact, this year I'm doing a programme for preschool children. And I think to get children interested in wildlife and environments and habitats, even in a very simple way, at a very young age, plays a vital role to give them that love that you need and that knowledge that will grow and grow and grow. And the more you know, the more you respect something, the more you want to save it. I think my favourite rainforest species has to be orangutans because I've done so much work with them. Um, I've been filming for a series called Orang Orangutan Diary, which we, we've done two series of now, and, and I've been very involved with orphaned orangutans, little babies that, that are in the sanctuary as a result of their forest home being cut down. And, and I, I think you can't help but feel a huge amount of empathy and sympathy towards those animals. I suppose the only funny encounter I had was, was when I was in Guyana and we were doing um, otters, these giant otters, and, and I went to pack my rucksack and I was just doing the zip up and this huge toad, it was a toad rather than a frog, was sitting right in the middle of my clothes in my rucksack. It wasn't particularly unpleasant, it was just slightly comical because I thought, gosh, if I hadn't seen him, I could have done my bag up and goodness knows what I would have found at the other end when I arrived in the UK. Um, he's sort of, he's a real major carnivore. Um, he's quite a punter, really, so I would call him Carney. I think carnivore.